Chess friends, how are you? Berserk Chess Engine is the most cruel and one of the strongest chess engines currently playing in the computer championship, you can see the position of me and Berserk in this game, I sacrificed my queen to win in the long run in the end game, so let's go, I started the game with e4, Berserk played d5, Scandinavian defense to court some fishes in the lake, not stockfish you know, many players here play bishop g4, try to court the goldfish then after h3 take take. If black plays knight c6 then pin the knight with bishop, notice that the knight has a double attack which is why the best move for black is to play castle believe me or, if your opponent plays queen b6 then he will fall in our fish trap, knight d5 and look at this, bishop can't be taken because of the knight fork and if you play queen a5, attack black with a water gun, there is no way to survive against this tactic, queen takes bishop and you will lose your beautiful queen by knight c7 fork. And friends like the video now because you are awesome I know, here cruel berserk played knight f6, the reason why I am calling his cruel because he demonstrates his position with more stronger playing style than me, I have to play carefully otherwise I may lose against him in the world championship, ok, I go with g4, if he can play like strongly then I can also play like alpha 0, the b2 is no hanging because rook b1 can win back the pawn, queen e2 to go for a long trip. Something like Switzerland place, and you may know that Alpha Zero isn't publicly available in Google server but if you some games of Alpha Zero then you can request me in the comments. Berserk played knight d5, he want to demonstrate his evil playing style with the knights, let me play f4, try to make a bridge, knight goes to b6 and now you may think of playing f5, try to tarp the bishop in this London tower, but you know what, if you really play f5, black first capture the knight. Take take knight captured, takes and looks like the bishop is trapped, nope, danger level, rook e8 followed by queen g4 rook e4, trying to free up some space from the computer and black will successfully save his bishop, to play well, you've got to think ahead and consider your opponent's best moves, understanding what they might do helps you decide your own strategy, so here I played bishop b3, first pieces and we have knight a4. Bishop takes a4 wouldn't bring any advantages as the rook can lift him up to create some problems at some positions, and you can play naturally, there is no necessary to rush, so I moved back my bishop, because I don't wanna let black to end up my bishop, pair setup. Don't allow someone to make you feel like you are not good enough and if you play any normal kind of move in this position, let's say h4, black can show his cruelty by playing b5, and knight takes d3. The problem is that you can't capture the knight as bishop, d3 will point his gun with two hands to queen and the king. Your position is completely over, queen takes c2 is a threat to play knight f4 discover check to the king and queen, and no matter what you will play your game will be over, bishop c3 can damage your pawn structure and there is knight takes f4 as well, and if you play king a1 then it will be a fatal blunder as queen takes c2 targets the patient with three doctors and do you know the formula of success. The only secret to success is preparation, discipline and hard work, so I prepared myself and played bishop c1, although that move looks passive but I need to secure my position and pressurize the center with knight, he played b5 and if you play bishop b3, then black can play the disrespectful move knight takes bishop, this move not only open up the line for the bishop, but it does create attacking possibilities for black, takes takes rook e1 and black will play the tricky move like Mikhail Tal. Rook to d1, attacking to the bishop with queen and after you capture queen c2 will threat b1 and the rook at the same time, white will be completely dead lost. Look in the mirror and rediscover your awesomeness. If you see a monkey in the mirror then it's your problem, I played bishop all the way back to a2, do you know the strategy, what should you play? Some of you might think of capturing with the knight but it wouldn't bring any advantages for black even if you play queen c2, this b1 square is well protected, right, notice that black needs both knight and bishop to join attack in the king side which is why cruel berserk captured the pawn, he sacrificed his rook, the point is that if you don't capture the rook and play any other move, f6 will come, followed by queen e2 h4 bishop e4 rook f1 f5 take take. Black needs to re-rotate his knight to apply pressure to the c2 pawn, that's it, black can hold a decisive advantages in this position and friends if you are enjoying my content, then you can like and subscribe to my channel, I need your support, here I captured the rook because I had no option to make, 
If you know chess tactics then you may know that whenever you have a discover check with bishop, don't check with bishop, try to hold the check by another piece and put some pressure to white. If you simply move the queen to somewhere then after knight before knight to c2, and knight before can draw the position, it could turn the game into a three-fold repetition move, and my desire to win the championship may go in vain, and even you can't play queen c3, as knight before will create the same drawable situation, f5 doesn't work as he can give me a check with the queen, and knight, the game will be a draw, and my subscribers might feel hesitant, which is why I have to win the game, so in this position. I played queen d4, forces black to play rook d8, okay, now you cannot just slide the queen away, because this position is completely changed by the rook on d8, knight e1 check, king slides rook takes d1, the bishop is under attack, and white will be utterly lost. It's not stress that kills us, it's our reaction to it, so here I played the bold move, if you can sacrifice your rook berserk, then why not I can sacrifice my queen. f5, blocking the bishop line to capture the knight with a check, king runs bishop here queen c5 and after a couple of moves later, we have bishop c2 rook d2 captured and you shouldn't take back the pawn as before can break your structure, so rook e1 c6 and do you know, deep conversations with the right people are priceless, you can not just capture the bishop because after rook check, king b7 rook e7 check, the king can't go on b6 because of bishop e3, also, if you play king to a6 then after bishop e3, queen c4, rook a7 will be a checkmate, wow, what a checkmate, black tries to counterplay with b4, but it doesn't create any strong threat as I can play bishop e3, here black should have gone for queen c4, something like take take bishop g1, h2 take take queen check, and the game would continue like this where black have more pawns than white, more pawns means more hopes for you, although it would become a draw, but berserk played a mistake move queen f5, because now I can capture the bishop and play a4. Even though he played b3 but it doesn't matter to me cause I can play bishop g4, I have 3 pieces against the queen and I am completely winning the game, berserk played with more aggressively and shows his brilliance by sacrificing his rook but at the end of the day, I am the boss. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.